Right, hundreds of people impacted by a gas outage in St. John's County. And it could take days for the neighborhood to get their gas back. Andrew Badiou is on your side tonight in one of those impacted neighborhoods. This is not what you want to hear in cold weather. How are the neighbors managing without gas tonight? Yeah, Jeannie, it isn't what you hear, but I actually did just hear from Tico People's Gas just a few minutes ago, and they did say that they're going to start restoring people's gas. They did so starting at 4 p.m. today, but they did say that it will continue through the night. And tomorrow, as you mentioned, it could take days for people to be getting their gas back. We're here in one of those impacted neighborhoods, the Celestina subdivision. And I did speak with the HOA president of the neighborhood earlier today. He said that people in the neighborhood don't have hot water and don't have gas for their stoves to be able to cook. But luckily for them, they do have heat. Now, as I mentioned, I spoke with Scott Forshe Friedman, who is the HOA president. He said that neighbors, thankfully, they have heat. They brought out a food truck tonight to help the people who aren't able to cook with because they don't have gas for their stoves. They don't have hot water though. The neighborhood, as I mentioned, they brought out that food truck to help out. Now, I do want to go over the process Tico is taking to get the gas back on. It's going to take a long process. They have to go door to door to shut off each individual meter. And we're, when repairs are done, it says that it has to go back to each home and turn those meters back on. Forshee Friedman said that the company came to his house around noon today. An adult does have to be home for this restoration process to happen. Tico, as I said, says it could take days for this to happen. We understand things happen. We just want it fixed. We uh, just want to understand when should we be here so we can move on, get prepared for the holidays. Many residents have many family members in town, small kids, medical conditions, and uh, Unable to move forward without a, a time frame is frustrating. And as I mentioned, people in this subdivision have heat. But Forshee Friedman said he spoke with some other neighbors in other subdivisions who said they actually are going to get hotel rooms possibly tonight as temperatures get colder through the night. Reporting here live in St. John's County, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News on your side.